Hey guys, it's Nick here and welcome to another Cerebral Palsy update for August 2017. So this month there are a few topics that I want to talk to you about. One is pain, as always. Two is my new orthotics. And three is taking baclofen again and how I found it. So without further ado, let's jump straight into everybody's favourite topic. Pain. So if you watched my last few cerebral palsy updates you'll know that my pain has been causing me quite a lot of problems and I've had new pains that I want to try and deal with and I feel so happy to be able to say that my pain is actually back to normal and it's amazing! Ah! Pelvis pain that I was getting does still bother me occasionally but now it is only occasionally and when it's bad it's quite bad but as long as I keep moving and keep putting on those good old wheat bags things seem to be okay and I feel like this pelvis pain has now worked its way into my regular pain cycle of you know like back ache, hip ache, knee ache, neck ache and I feel like I can actually deal with it now. Okay so number two orthotics. So you might remember a little while ago that I had gone to see my consultant about my pelvis pain and she had suggested that I go back to the orthotics department at my hospital and get them to put a wedge on one of my shoes to see if that helps with the pain. I don't have the wedge yet but I have managed to have the appointment and there is usually quite a big waiting list for orthotics appointments at my hospital so I'm really happy with that. I've had the appointment, they've assessed me and they think that a wedge might help so they've ordered me some shoes I'm now just waiting for them to turn up and hopefully they will make a big difference so I will let you know in my next CP update. And finally, baclofen. So the last thing I want to talk to you about this month is baclofen which is a muscle relaxant that I was prescribed by my consultant to try and help with this pelvis pain. Hi guys, editing Nick here. So guess whose final bit of footage messed up? Yeah, no points for getting the right answer I'm afraid so I am just going to keep this brief and say that even though I tried baclofen before and it didn't work for me, my consultant suggested that I try again for the pelvis pain with a higher dosage but only taking it at night to combat the sleepiness and it did help during that point, my pain phased down but I was still so so tired during the day even after I'd taken it which is weird because apparently it's only in your system for a few hours but I was knackered, I was so tired and actually it's been a couple of weeks since I've taken a dose of baclofen and my pelvis pain is still fine so I am just gonna hang fire on taking it for a while and see if I can cope without it. I actually made a cerebral palsy update in August of 2016 so last year if you want to check that out I will leave a link to it over there along with a little bubble with my face in it for you to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos from me. Thank you very much for watching, sorry about the video screw up and I will see you again soon. Bye!